usually when people first see the mannequin, they're kind of wondering, you know, what does it do? I mean, what's the purpose of it? It has mouth, it has teeth, it has soft gums, it has a cheek. You can tell we got the same haircut as well. My name is Philip Rialis. I am the director of sales for Columbia Dental Farm. We supply dental mannequins to dental schools. What we basically supply is their first patient for them to train on before they actually move on to live patients. The company started in 1917. So next year, Columbia Dental Farm will be 100 years old. The models, the mannequins are all assembled by hand. We sell well over a million teeth a year. Yeah. We make a variety of models. We provide models that put tartar on the teeth. We make models that have a variety of disease under the gums, on the gums. If they need to, they could do a root canal on the dog and cat as well. We have models that have absolutely no teeth at all, so they can learn how to do a complete denture. The reason why it actually looks this way, we really didn't want to put any gender in the mannequin, so it could be anybody. The design of it is based on, on, on what an average human would look like as far as the size of the head, the ears, the mouth opening, the softness of the gum tissue. The only thing it doesn't simulate is maybe the bad breath. But other than that, it's a great patient because it just cooperates with you. I've been with the company for 41 years. I have no idea that I'll be working with dental mannequins at all or all these teeth. My granddaughters think I work for the Tooth Fairy. And so that really works out well because if, if their parent forget to put money under the pillow for a tooth, they'll tell mom, just talk to grandpa, he knows, all, he knows the tooth fairy. 